how to clean your bottles. If you're doing a business, and like I said, I wanted to raise a couple years ago, years ago, actually. So I figured I would offer a discount if they bring the empty bottle back. So here's some of them. This right here was Bangladesh Oud. Uh, Bangladesh, yeah, that was Bangladesh Oud, I believe. This one right here, I don't know what the freak is this. These are some of the bottles that people returned today. That's a white diamond mix. And has the top on it and everything like that. And then this is a couple of them. Then I even got a little jar. So all of this is glass. How we're going to clean this. How we're going to clean them. So that, that's mine. That's Mac Jamba. That's mine. Let's come over here. Okay. So for starters, me personally, um, let me see. Sometimes you can see residue around the bottles. Let's see. Here's one. You can see the residue around the bottle. See all that residue like that? I don't know if you could see it like in there. And people have worn this. So I'm dealing with this. When people return stuff, I don't ask them to rinse it out. They just bring it back. So this is the bottle somebody used. So what I do is I take the roll-ons off of them. No, well, not that one, obviously, because it has something in there. But see how the roll on see how the, I take the tops off of them. The tops came on like this. I take the tops off. I fill the water up. And I use Dawn. This is what I use. I use Dawn for my soap. I put a little soap in there. Hot water. That's how I do it first. I put the bottles in. I don't touch them. I don't touch the balls or nothing because people have used them. I put the bottles in the water. This Bangladesh, it has a little bit more. And sometimes when you're doing, caution, if you're doing a lot of bottles and they have this in it like this, just be mindful of the smell. Or you could wear a mask if you want. Because I know sometimes that I've done that. And it's like the fumes that come from the hot water and the oils. It just it could be very intoxicating. So just watch that. When it has things in it. This has something in it too. It's just not dark. But it has something in it. So once all the smells get together, it's gonna you're going to smell something. And it's steamy hot water that I'm using. So that's what I use at first. Dawn. This is what I use at first. Dawn. And because I don't want to touch the bottle because people have used them. So all I'm doing, all I'm doing basically, see how that's stained? All I'm doing basically, this is this soap and water. See how it's still stained though with the Bangladesh? It's still stained. And this is soap and water with Dawn. It's still stained. So what I do, like I said, I rinse them. And you can take this process. You can rinse it. You can soak these for like, 10, 15 minutes, you know, especially if you're real like annoyed about, you know, people's germs and things like that. That's what I do. I usually wash that off first. And for the sake of the video, we'll just do it quicker. I usually wrench it off. I'll drain it. Just drain the bubbles off. So you got your bottles there. This is cool water just to wrench it off. Just to show you for the video. So I did it with the Dawn. And then the magic and the specialty comes in with this. I use a lot awesome. And I've been using this for about 15, 17 years, and I'll use it forever. It, it What does it say? Wine, liquor, gum, oil, glue, pet stains, coffee. Um, what else? Cherry juice. What else? Blood stains and grease. So that's what this is what I use. The Bangladesh. You could clearly see how it is, see how it's tinted. You could do soap and water, but it's really not going to get it. And not only that, you don't want to have a clear bottle and it still smells like something else. Then you're pouring another fragrance in it. So no, no good. The Law Awesome. See how that gets the Law Awesome? It cuts everything. So I'm glad I, I used the dark oil to show you. So I'm just going to let that hang out right there. This, I spray this. And with an old rag, this is my oil rag, you take the top off. That's how I do it. That's how I do it. Top off, spray the bottle, and kind of let it hang out. This is another one, too. Top off. Sometimes that happens, too. Like, the ball will come off. But I never use the ball. I never replace the ball. I always use a different ball. All I'm after is the bottle. You can see how that's coated, too. See how that's coated? 
So we're gonna, we hope that comes clean, right? And another thing too, like if you do the um, return bottle thing, and the, the bottle looks like broke or destroyed, or it just looks like the stuff in there, it cannot be fixed, then don't take the bottle. Just say, no, I, it's not going to count. The bottle has to be as is. The bottle has to be as, as they bought it, but with some solution in it. But this is the lot awesome. That's what I'm using. That's the secret. You can use soap and water, but this is what I use, and it, and it's, and it works. It's very effective. So there's these, dump them out. I love my little sprayer. You could already see how clean the bottle is from La Awesome. You could already see. And I'm doing this re uh, video for a request from my customers because I appreciate you. La Awesome, I spray it in there like that. You could shake it, however. There it is. <laughs> See how clean they are? See? And then you, when you dry them, hold that, when you dry them, I just take a different paper towel. I use brawny. And I sit it upside down. And that's how I do them. I even got a bigger jar because I put my little Jolly Ranchers in here. So just to show you on a bigger level, this jar is old and I've had it for a while, but it's, it's not real, it's not spankling, sparkling clean. So I'm going to clean that too. And then there was other things in here, but the main ingredients is the La Awesome, baby. That's what does it for me. That's been doing it for me for years. And by the way, you could use La Awesome in the beginning, but I like to use the Dawn first. Just when people have their roll-on bottles, you know, because it's been on their skin. And I just I just don't want to put that on my hands. But like I said, the only caution is watch out for the smell. Because when you have the hot water and the oil's mixing up, it's kind of like a vaporizer. So that's how I do it. This is the La Awesome. And this is just a bigger bottle, so you can see. Of course, you can't get into the little bottles like I can with the rag. But guess what? I'll, I'll show you a tip on that, too. So this right here with the Law Awesome. See how clean that is? Squeaky clean. And so are the other bottles. And you don't smell anything, either. Because you could do soap and water, but you want to get the smell out. And this Law Awesome gets the smell out. It does everything. It, it's, it's a miracle worker. I love it. I love it. So you could get you some, um, just some, you know, some free game on that. Law Awesome and Dawn. You can use Dawn and water, but to get everything out and to make the bottles look brand spanking new like this, use Law Awesome. And like I said, if it's thin, like if the bottle's not wide where you can't pick a rag through it, I got a tip. One minute. You use a Q-tip. And the person that requested the video from me, they already know that Q-tip is it's Q-tip power with oils. So I use this just if, if, if you needed it. This bottle doesn't need it because it's clean. You can tell it's clean. You can see it sparkling. Even in the light, you could tell. You could tell it's clean. Nobody would know. Just take that label off. Nobody would know. So let's see. I had another bottle in here. I'm just showing you a couple for the video. Oh, here's the one with the wax buildup. What the heck is that? But I took the bottle because it wasn't damaged, you know what I'm saying? And I think I can clean it. So, let's put that there. Spray my law, my law Awesome in there. And it's thick. It looks like, I don't know what they put in wax. I don't know what they put in. Probably trying to make it last. But I'm going to use my Q-tip. See that? Let's use the Q-tip. And the Q-tip is soft. That's what you use, a Q-tip. Q-tip is my best friend. It's been my best friend for years. And like I said, the person that requested this video, they know I use Q-tips. We talked about Q-tips before. Get this out of here. I know, it could be messy. <laughs> but like I said, if you want to save money and you have an oil business, oil, an oil fragrance business, any fragrance business is not cheap. So this is what I did. Because I, you know, I did my started my business outside and 
it's my business that I do this. <laughs> but see that chunk right there? Wow. Sick. That's even going to come out. I think it will. I think it will. But probably it maybe has to be heated. But what the hell? It's still in there though. But the bottle's clean. The bottle's clean and the smell's away from it. I think it'll melt though. I don't think it's a waste of an empty return bottle. I think it's okay. Because that'll melt. But the bottle's clean. All the bottles are clean. Ooh. They're all clean. And that's how I do it. Subscribe to the channel if you want more tricks and hacks about oil fragrance businesses, uh, startups and oil fragrance business fragrances, you know, just everything oils and parenting too, because I'm a parent and I'm going to be talking about parenting, opening up my channel for different things. But this is what I use. That cleans the bottle sparkling clean and there's no smell at all. Brand new bottle.